So this is pretty wild. And in the summer last year, I lost uh, air conditioning on the old truck. And um, I took it in the town for Mike to charge it back up. And, and he found a leak. And the leak was in this line right here. This condenser line. Uh, I just took that. I just took that TIG torch, and I cleaned this up, and I was actually able to go in here and weld that leak without removing this condenser. So, man, if this works, that's going to save a bunch of work. But I wanted to show you what happened here. Uh, you can see where there was metal, like like that uh, on this cowling part of the front of this truck um, the metal that was right here rubbed against that line I didn't know that this was happening um, my AC started that leak because of that rubbing and that's why you don't see that metal here now because I've hammered it way back out of the way uh, but if you're you know I had I had done, uh, I had this truck tore clear down to the frame on jack stands in this shop back in probably 06. And I remember when I did that, when I was doing that work, uh, this, this part of the truck, this body part was so rotten that I, I replaced it. So this is probably, you know, this is something I took out, replaced with something else. I goofed with it. And I didn't look to see what maybe would be fitting different. And if I had, I probably could have stopped this problem from ever happening in the first place. Uh, this part of this condenser line, this air, air conditioner condenser line, was just barely touching that steel of that body metal where it stuck out right there, where it used to stick out. And it caused that problem. And it's just pure luck that I was able to reach that TIG torch in there and fix that, that little spot. Uh, so I'll run it back down to Mike here as it, it's be warming up soon. I'll run it back down and, and we'll see about uh, getting that thing charged up. And then I'll have AC again and be ready for summer.